What's up guys? Baker here. Very excited for this new tutorial. Um, a lot of people have been using this effect, but not a lot of people know how to do it or uh, haven't done any tutorials. So I hope I am, you know, one of the first, but um, I'm not taking credit for inventing it or anything. But uh, two examples. One's kind of like a transition and the one is just for a uh, gunshot. So let's take a look. So that was a little quick, and we could always uh, fix the speed and stuff, but the basic idea is it zooms out, a bunch of screens, a little bit of warping, and it fades into a new clip. Use that for my tips at block uh, transition thingy from the, um, the intro loading screen to uh, the beginning clip. The other one is just for a nice shot. Kind of like this, because it's kind of like a, reminds me of like a slingshot kind of thing. Look at this guy. Look at that, it's like, and then it goes, boom. I don't know, it makes it a lot, a lot more powerful, I think. It's like ripping the extra dimensions. Boom. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete this suggestion layer. So let's say you have, um, you got two clips, right? You need to be overlapping a little bit, and uh, we're just going to use a simple opacity fade, and that should be pretty easy for you guys to, uh, no by now, just fade the topo clip, topo clip, top clip from uh, 100 down to zero, simple fade thing. And then um, what we're gonna do is create an adjustment layer. And if you want, you can go ahead and trim this. So we're gonna hold Alt and then begin bracket. And then over here, we're gonna go Alt end bracket. All right, so we're just gonna zoom in a little bit. Now we're going to search up motion tile. This is where the key part of the effect is coming from. And um, it's pretty cool stuff to uh, layer and tile things. And what we're going to do is just change the uh, tile height and width and whatnot. Now since these are going to be separate, um, you don't have to do this, but to make keyframing a little bit easier, hold alt and click on either one, the tile or the height, pick width to the other one, to the width. So that means all we gotta do is change the width and it changes the height at the same value. Makes it a little bit easier. So a little bit before the first uh, opacity keyframe, I'm gonna go and keyframe the width and move forward to the end and keyframe it again at 100. And then we're just gonna, 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 gonna go to the middle and scale this down. Now, uh, depends you know how far you want it. I just do it about I don't know, around there where there's like nine thingies, about 34%. And, um, yeah, there you go. And um, what you're going to do is actually click on the tile width, go to your graph editor, and we're going to change uh, the velocity. Because if you look at the speed here, it's just really weird looking. So we're going to smooth out the bottom right here by clicking this, easy ease. And then we can just play with the handles, you know, scoot this out. This one, I'm going to easy ease out and put this one down. So what this does is it shoots it out fast, slows down, and then this gradual handle over here will let it stay um, really far and then zoom in really fast at the end. So maybe scoot this one over so it shoots it out fast, kind of waits a little bit, and then zooms it back in. So these are just... Uh, it's changing the velocity of the keyframe animation. Um, pretty cool stuff. We're also going to do some warping with some optic compensation. Go ahead and drag that on. In the beginning, we'll set a keyframe for zero. And in the end as well. So go ahead and click keyframe. And then move to that high point or the uh, middle keyframe. And we're actually, we're going to reverse the lens distortion and then bring this up pretty... Not too far, but I mean, you know, about a hundred. So it'll shoot out, start warping, and like slingshot it back in. Now it's kind of weird right here. So we're gonna, let's see, move this end keyframe, just in the layer, move it past the uh, tile keyframe. So it's a little bit warped still as it uh, comes in. And uh, of course you can do some easy ease and uh, mess with the velocities over here as well. But um, seems like it's bouncing kind of weird. Let's see, maybe we easy ease that middle keyframe. Boom. Maybe. 
bring this in over here, extend this one a little bit. So just kind of mess around with the velocities until you kind of get a nice looking smooth animation. And the next one is um, where we're going to do the shot. So it is literally the exact same thing, except, oh, what did I just delete? So it's the same thing. It's coming in and it shoots out. The thing is, the width isn't as far. It's about 50-60%, so not too much um, scaling. And then the uh, speeds, let's take a look. So that's just a kind of, you know, easy ease. Yeah, easy ease the middle keyframe. So it zooms out, starts warping, kind of hangs there for a second, and then slingshots really fast at the end. And then what I did is just add a simple CC lens onto the adjustment layer. We'll set this up to 500, and we're going to wait until the gunshot keyframe the size, move forward one frame, set it down to 100. That's what I like, so it, um, it's the smallest you can get without showing too much black. So 100. So that's keyframed, and then we'll move forward uh, a lot longer, maybe a second or so, keyframe it back to 100. So again, let's take a look. So probably extend that CC lens keyframe just a tad bit longer. And uh, I really like this. It's like a slingshot. Like I said, it's like a slingshot, like powerful, like boom. Say it with me. One, two, three. Boom. Look at that. Nice. I don't know. I think I'm going to use that a little bit more often. This little slingshot. Um, I hope it doesn't get too overused, kind of like CC lenses and uh, radial blur. I remember when that came out, a lot of people were going after it. But um, this is it. Motion tile, a little bit of optics compensation if you want. And then CC lens. Boom. There we go. So go ahead and like, favorite, comment, share. Anything you want if you enjoyed this tutorial. Pretty sweet stuff. And until next time, you guys, I will see you later and whatnots and stuff. And yeah, peace.